physical a team that was, I thought, more ready to play the game at the start than us. They had four guys from the area back home. Coach Cox was from the area. Uh, they were ready to go, and we, and we weren't. They kind of punched us uh, in the face. Um, down 24 to 12, didn't have a lot going. Turned the ball, we were throwing the ball, the guys in the stands, and uh, instead of our teammates, and um, finally settled down. The zone got us going, played a little one three one and shown it, uh, kind of rattled them a little bit. We got a break on, gave us confidence. And then I thought the second half defensively, we were really, really, really good. And I thought Dante and Daryl, we put them on, I don't want to screw his name up, number 10. He got a terrific player, man, is he good. Best second jump I think I've ever coached against. Um, and uh, they fronted him, we, we doubled them, and I thought, you know, we rebounded better. But I think we held them at 20% in the second half, and that was really different. And then we only had three turnovers. We had the lob at the very end, so we really only had two turnovers. Uh, we muffed the lob with, with Wiggs, so we, had, you know, we played the way we were capable of playing in the second half. Questions, please? Uh, oh, I want to start with the Chiefs. Can I start with the Chiefs? What's your name? Isaiah. Isaiah. I'm going to start with Isaiah. Is that all right? You got one? You got, you got a question? Oh, man. <laughs> Come on, Isaiah. Next time you got your Pat was ready. My bad, Pat. No, no problem, Mark. I, I, I understand. I don't, I don't have any NFL apparel on over here. Yeah. Um, you mentioned the turnover. What do you think just kind of was wrong there early on, and, and what kind of got fixed? Or was it just you guys getting back to what you needed? Uh, we were panicking a little bit. I mean, let's just be real. And uh, it was a great crowd. First of all, it was a ter terrific crowd for a late night game this early in the season. There's a lot of energy in the building. and. Um, Maybe that had a little bit to do with it. I tried to play a lot of guys early. Some of our young guys just weren't quite ready for the pace of that game and the physicality of that game. Um, so we were just out of sync. Give them credit. Their ball screen defense was terrific. It pressured us. Um, and we just got used to it as the game went on. And um, we, we played the way we were capable of playing really the last 25 minutes. I thought we were really good. You guys were able to, you know, play better defensively at, you know, the end of the second half, and then, you know, at the end of the first half, yeah. and then really throughout the second half. What were there, you know, any other adjustments that you made uh, at halftime to really, you know, be yeah. able to hold them though, only twenty percent in the last? Yeah, um, it, was a, it was a couple of things. One, um, then the first half, our our zone really hurt them, and we rebounded out. You know, Aaron Wiggins had thirteen rebounds tonight. It was terrific. Um, and that hurt him. And then the second half, I thought Daryl and Dante did a great job of fronting the post and making it hard on them, making them skip, making them throw over. And then our double team is good. And then our rebound is better. And then I thought Anthony did a great job. I thought all our guys did a great job of keeping the ball in front of them. Our ball screen defense was better. We kept the ball in front of us. We made them shoot jump shots, tough contested twos. And if we could just rebound the ball, we could you know, stop them. So uh, we did a lot of really good things in the second half. Um, go back to turnovers a little bit. Uh, Daryl had been so reliable yeah. and consistent um, going back to late last season. Um, yeah. what, what do you think was kind of messing him up? And I feel like you see it as an off that night with the travel. Um, yeah, I, I think we were all a little sped up. I think he was sped up. And then I think he was trying, a lot of our turnovers, we guys are trying to do too much. Trying to dribble in a crowd and so just pass the ball. We really passed the ball well. We just didn't show that tonight. Really, the first 15 minutes we showed that we didn't pass it well. Um, so he's been really good. He's been good in practice. So hopefully it was just one of those nights. You hope your bench is deeper uh, than it was tonight. So you can, if the guy is turning the ball like that, you can get him out. But Darrell was so good defensively. And I thought he played with poise after those first five. I think he ended up with five and a half. He had five. He should have had one. That's in the lob and sticks and up with the ball. So, um, but he's important to us. Show tonight. Things seem to pick up when you start to play small and sticks move yeah. to the five. How do you get better at playing big, especially when Big Ten play comes around? 
Yeah, yeah, that was a really pretty big front line they had, a really strong, really athletic front line. So, um, you know, I, I have a lot of confidence in the Twins, and I thought Mikel actually probably played a little better than Mackay. They just got to learn how to play without fouling. Number 10 is really good. He puts foul pressure on. I think he was averaging 16 and 15 or whatever. I don't know what he had tonight, but they weren't ready for that. Um, but we'll be fine. We'll be able to play. We'll be able to play big. The good thing is that we can figure it out. <laughs> and we got enough bodies where if certain guys aren't playing well, we still have enough where we can choose five. And that's what we did. We really found five, six guys that were six guys in the second half that were playing well. We just we just kind of went with them. How big was the 54 run the last five minutes yeah. of the first half to take the lead going into halftime, even given the sloppy first 15? Yeah, it was pretty amazing, and um, we needed it. I, I was really worried because we couldn't score. We, we turned it over, you know, by 50% of our possessions, and um, we had no rhythm on offense. There was just no rhythm to the game whatsoever. It's a very physical game. It's a hard game to referee. Um, it was a very physical game. So to go on that run, get the rebound, to get our zone going uh, was big. And we hit a couple threes in that stretch. Dante and Wiggs hit back-to-back -back threes, and that was, that was big for us. Yeah, I, I, I think we all felt relieved. Then we knew we were going to win the game, which is by how much. And I was just, we played with much more poise in the second half. Coach, you had four players finishing double figures. Can you talk about the offensive balance, especially in the second half? Yeah, we have good players, and um, I think we're going to do that a lot. I think it'll be nice with six guys in double figures. We had trouble scoring tonight. Um, there's a lot of guys that can put the ball in the basket for us, so um, it doesn't surprise me. Um, and we weren't very good offensively tonight, to be quite honest with you. I think our shooting percentage was pretty good, um, but we, we got a long ways to go there, and uh, we'll get better. we got a week now, um, and, and I hope it'll get better. But it won't surprise me if we have a number of games, five guys. We almost had six the other night. We had two guys with nine, four and double, and two with nine. So it doesn't shock. Yeah, Mark, um, last year, Anthony, the number of games where Anthony sort of distributes in the first half and kind of takes charge yeah. of scoring in the second half. That was sort of the, the, the format today. Is, is that by design? Or is that no. just how he kind of gets in? <laughs> no, I think Anthony would like to have 13 in both halves. And I would have been a lot happier at halftime, but we were so out of it. We were out of sync. Um, <clears throat> we changed our offense a little bit in the second half, spaced them, changed our ball screen, what we were doing on our ball screen, and really got him and Eric both going uh, a little bit. And um, his leadership was amazing. His poise, never stopped talking, and his defense, we don't talk about his defense enough. That kid, Fats, is a really good player, and Anthony did a terrific job on him. I guess he's just being a senior, you know, and uh, I'm just glad he likes to bring us home, which is good. You know, I, I'd much rather have that than a guy plays good in the first half and can't do it the same. Mark, you went with the four guard lineup with yeah. Daryl to four to start the second half, yeah. and it was pretty effective. Yeah. What did you see out of that group, and what does it unlock for you? Well, we did start the second half the other night. Um, we were having a hard time guarding. I, I, I don't want to screw his name. I'm number 10. I should know his name, Latin Land men or whatever, but um, terrific player. And so we just keep sticks out of foul trouble. We just put Daryl on him. Daryl Smart, Daryl set on his legs, we fronted. The double teams got better. And then we were able to space the floor and run because our defense, we, we were a good running team. We didn't make good decisions when we were running. We took a couple bad shots, turned it over uh, in transition. The game could have got, at, you know, we could have got away from them earlier. Uh, but just felt comfortable, you know. So Daryl was really guarding the five. Um, Dante was guarding the five. And I think that would really kind of change the game uh, once we did that. Coach, uh, five for 27 from the three point line in the first game, six for nine, just 19 tonight. Yeah. Have the practices shown those kind of numbers? Does that concern <clears throat> how you approach your offense at all? Is there that much of a difference? No, I think you got to give them credit. And they pressured us, so we had to drive them. Um, they were really a pressure team. I was, I didn't think we'd struggle as much as we did offensively. We really struggled. We were really out of it. Um, we, we're a work in progress. Um, really couldn't score around the basket with our post-up play, which we need to do. 
Uh, we got to have a little bit more of a balance, like posting the ball. As, as I think we're dribbling too much right now. We got we got work to do, uh, but you know we did a lot of nice things. So am I concerned? Not really. And it's November 9th, so we'll get a lot better. Last one, Aaron has now had you know three steals in consecutive games. What have you seen you know improve from him on the defensive end, especially with his aggressiveness? Yeah, he's really gotten better. Um, so there's a thing called the slide board that I believe in. Skiers use it, Olympic skiers, speed skaters. Aaron lived on it this summer, and it's made him so much quicker laterally. It's given him confidence on defense. And, um, he was good, and it's really helped him. So um, it gives me more confidence, because I know Anthony can really guard, and I know Daryl can really guard. And so, He's going to guard that way. It really helps us. And I thought Eric made a jump defensively tonight, which he needed to do. Thanks, Coach. Yeah, thank you.